Welcome to our channel. Today we're diving into the fascinating third wave experiment, a real life lesson on the dangers of authoritarianism. Hit subscribe and let's unravel this compelling piece of history together. Let's get started. Chapter one, introduction to the third wave. In 1967, Ron Jones, a history teacher at Coverly High School in Palo Alto, California, embarked on a unique educational experiment. Aimed at helping his students understand the rise of fascism in Nazi Germany, the experiment was designed to demonstrate how easily people can be swayed by authoritarian ideologies. This period in history was marked by the rule of the Nazis, a regime that captivated and manipulated the German populace. Jones's experiment, later known as the Third Wave, sought to replicate the conditions that allowed such ideologies to flourish. It was an attempt to teach a vital lesson in democracy and individual responsibility, making students comprehend the dangers of blind obedience and the importance of critical thinking in a society. Chapter 2. The Experiment Begins On the first day of the experiment, Ron Jones introduced simple rules to his high school class. These rules were straightforward. Students had to sit up straight, give short answers, and address Jones with formal titles. The objective was to instill a sense of discipline and order, similar to what might have been experienced in Nazi Germany. Jones emphasized efficiency and community, subtly guiding the students towards a structured environment. As the day progressed, the students started to respond positively to this new form of discipline. They engaged more actively in class, following the rules with surprising eagerness. This initial success led Jones to expand the experiment further. He was testing how far he could take this exercise in obedience and conformity, not realizing yet the profound impact it would have on the students. This was the beginning of what would become a powerful demonstration of the ease with which individual freedoms can be surrendered for the perceived benefit of belonging to a group. Chapter 3. Building a Movement As the experiment progressed, Ron Jones began shaping a more defined movement within his classroom. He named it the Third Wave and introduced additional elements to enhance the sense of group identity and purpose. A special salute, resembling a wave, became a symbol of membership and solidarity. Jones also created a slogan, strength through discipline, strength through community, strength through action, which the students chanted enthusiastically. The classroom environment transformed significantly. Students began adhering to the rules with a sense of pride and belonging. The discipline that started as a simple classroom management technique evolved into a demonstration of loyalty to the third wave. Jones emphasized action for the common good, mirroring the way fascist regimes unify people under a common cause. In this phase, the experiment went beyond mere obedience to authority. It started reflecting how individuals, especially young minds, could be influenced and swept up by a sense of unity and purpose. This was a critical turning point showing the power of group dynamics and collective identity in shaping individual behavior. Chapter 4. The Third Wave Grows As the Third Wave movement gained momentum, its influence extended beyond the confines of Ron Jones's classroom. Students, energized by the sense of unity and purpose the movement provided, began recruiting their peers. This rapid expansion was a testament to the experiment's powerful appeal. The Third Wave's membership soon ballooned to over 200 students, far exceeding the original class. This growth brought a new level of seriousness to the experiment. The students' commitment to the third wave's principles intensified, and they began to adopt its practices in their daily lives. They carried the salute and the slogans outside the classroom, spreading the movement's influence throughout the school. Jones observed this growth with a mix of fascination and concern. The experiment, initially intended as a simple demonstration, was evolving into a vivid illustration of how quickly and deeply an authoritarian ideology can infiltrate and influence a community. The third wave was no longer just a classroom exercise. It had become a social phenomenon, highlighting the allure and dangers of such movements. Chapter 5. Control and Surveillance The experiment entered a new phase with the introduction of more authoritarian elements by Ron Jones. To reinforce the third wave's discipline, he established a system resembling a secret police. Some students were designated to monitor and report others who failed to adhere to the rules or expressed doubts about the movement. This step marked a significant escalation as it actively involved students in policing each other. The introduction of surveillance tactics changed the dynamics within the group. Trust began to erode as students became both enforcers and the enforced. The atmosphere in the school shifted, 
What started as a lesson in discipline was morphing into a demonstration of control and power. This development was crucial in illustrating how authoritarian regimes maintain their hold over people. It showed how easily individuals can be coerced into controlling and betraying their peers, sacrificing personal relationships and morals for the sake of a collective ideology. This part of the experiment highlighted the darker aspects of such movements, where loyalty to the group overrides individual judgment and compassion. Chapter 6. The Climactic Assembly The crescendo of the third wave experiment came when Ron Jones announced a special assembly. He promised the students that the national leader of the third wave would reveal himself there. This announcement created a buzz of excitement and anticipation among the students, who by now were deeply invested in the movement. As the day of the assembly approached, the school was abuzz with speculation and excitement. Many students genuinely believed that they were part of a larger, nationwide movement and were eager to meet its leader. This belief in a national movement showed just how deeply the students had been influenced by the experiment. On the day of the assembly, the students gathered, filled with a sense of purpose and expectation. They awaited the big reveal, ready to embrace the leader of this movement they had so wholeheartedly adopted. This moment was critical in the experiment, as it was designed to be the ultimate test of their belief in the third wave and its principles. The anticipation in the air was palpable, setting the stage for the experiment's most dramatic and revealing moment. Chapter 7. The Revelation and Aftermath At the assembly, the students of the third wave awaited the revelation of their national leader with high anticipation. However, the moment they had been eagerly awaiting took an unexpected turn. Ron Jones revealed that there was no national leader or movement. The third wave was an experiment, a simulation to demonstrate the allure of fascism. This revelation shocked the students. They had believed in the reality of the third wave and its principles. Jones explained the purpose of the experiment, to show how individuals, even in a democratic society, can be swayed by authoritarian ideologies. He drew parallels between their experience and the rise of fascism in Nazi Germany, highlighting how easily people could be manipulated into surrendering their freedom and participating in oppressive systems. The aftermath of this revelation was profound. The students were left to reflect on their actions and the ease with which they had accepted and enforced the authoritarian rules of the third wave. This experience left a lasting impact, serving as a powerful lesson in critical thinking, the importance of questioning authority, and the value of individual freedoms in a democratic society. Chapter 8. Reflecting on the Third Wave the third wave experiment concluded with important lessons about authority, conformity, and democracy. Students and teacher alike reflected on how easily the allure of unity and power can overshadow individual judgment and freedom. This reflection was crucial in understanding the experiment's impact. It highlighted the importance of vigilance and critical thinking in a society, especially against authoritarian tendencies. The experiment served as a stark reminder of the responsibilities each individual holds in a democratic society to question, challenge, and think independently. The third wave's legacy lies in its powerful demonstration of how history's darker chapters can recur, underscoring the need for continuous education and awareness. Thank you for watching. If you found this exploration of the third wave experiment insightful, please like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating historical stories. Stay curious and see you in the next video.